Hello, my dears. Thank you for joining me today. My name is Teresa, and I'm here in Kamloops, British Columbia, on the unceded and occupied territory of the Shaquetmik people. Today, I'm wearing my green dress because we are going to talk about frogs. And frogs, some of them, most of them, are green. So first we're going to sing our bluebird song, then we'll sing a song about frogs, then we'll learn about a frog life cycle, and we'll do our wind poem, and then we'll say goodbye. So let's start with our bluebird song. Kind of like freckles on your nose, so it's speckles on a frog. Three green and speckled frogs sat on a speckled log, eating their most delicious grub. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there are two green speckled frogs. Glum, glum. Two green and speckled frogs sat on a speckled log, eating the most delicious grub. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there is one green speckled frog. Glub, glub. One green and speckled frog sat on a speckled log, eating the most delicious grubs. Yum, yum. They jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there are no green speckled frogs. Glub, glub. <laughs> All right, come closer and we can read our story. Here we have Watch It Grow by Barbara Reed. She wrote the words and made the pictures. Today, we will watch a green frog grow. There's the frog. The green frog lays many eggs together in a mass of jelly. Those are the eggs inside the jelly. That jelly protects the eggs and keeps them warm under the cold spring water. The frog lays its eggs in a pond which is like a small body of water. Look at all those leaves and grasses and plants under the water. In a few days, a tiny tadpole hatches. There's the tadpole. It lives underwater and attaches itself to the plants it finds there. There's a tadpole that's still in that jelly. But these tadpoles 
have hatched. They have come out of the jelly. The tadpole grows quickly. It begins to swim around and to eat plants. It still lives under the water. So it has something called gills. The gills are on the side of the tadpole. So it can breathe under the water. By the time it is eight weeks old, the tadpole has sprouted back legs. Now it gulps air from the surface of the water and eats tiny bugs. So now it is breathing air like you and me, not only living underwater. Here is a water lily. This is a lily pad. So that's a tadpole with a tail and back legs. The tadpole's mouth and eyes get bigger and its tail shrinks. It gets smaller. It still lives underwater but now front legs are beginning to grow. It has front legs and back legs. Still has a tail, but it gulps air from the, from the surface of the water. It's looking more and more like a frog. Soon the small frog is ready to live on land, just like the big frogs. Looks like this person is trying to catch that frog. But that frog looks like it will hop away easily. That's the end of that part of our book. And there's our frog hopping away here too. <laughs> Thank you for reading with me. I want to show you my frog. I have all the parts of the life cycle of the frog in my basket, the ones we just learned about. I have the eggs. And the tadpole with his long tail. Here, the tadpole still has a tail, but he's got back legs now, and his eyes and mouth are bigger. Here, there's still a tail, but he's got back legs and front legs. He's almost a frog. And here is our big green frog. We're going to put these in order and I need your help. Here we have all of the parts of the life cycle. We're going to put them in order over here. Can you tell me which one comes first? Here we have the eggs. The eggs are first. Those tiny tadpoles, there's one in each egg. We'll put the eggs here. After they hatch, which one is next? Did you say tadpole? Here's the tadpole with his long tail and tiny eyes. 
and a little mouth. Tadpole comes next. Eggs, tadpole. Hmm, which one's next? Here we have the tadpole with back legs. And you can see here on the side, those are his gills. He can breathe, he can still breathe underwater. But look, his mouth and eyes are bigger. He's becoming a frog. This is the tadpole with back legs. What's next? Here. This one has front legs and back legs, but he still has a tail. He's still living mostly in the water. He's got those big eyes and a big mouth gulping the air from the surface of the pond. And the last one is our frog. His tail is gone and he's ready to hop onto land. Eggs, tadpole, tadpole with back legs, tadpole with front legs, and back legs, and frog. We did it. That's the life cycle of the frog. Because remember, the frog can lay new eggs. And the cycle starts all over again. That's pretty neat, eh? Now we're going to do our wind poem, and then we'll say goodbye. So here we have our picture of the wind blowing through this big willow tree. And you can see the wind blowing her hair too. This poem is called Who Has Seen the Wind by Christina Rossetti. Who has seen the wind? Neither I nor you. But when the leaves hang trembling, the wind is passing through. Who has seen the wind? Neither you nor I. But when the trees bow down their heads, the wind is passing by. Thank you for joining me today. See you again soon. Bye.